Hey everyone, today's video is a question from a viewer. And so this question is from Gia. She says, hi Nick, I've been following your video and Udemy course to learn flow and you've helped me a lot. However, I'm still struggling to move to the more advanced level. I was hoping when you get the time, you could show us how to create a flow to update the number of task records on a custom field on the lead object. And so that's what we're gonna do today. So I'm here in the trailhead environment and I have my lead record open, Miss Betty Blair and there are three tasks that I've created here. So the requirements for this is that we need a flow to uh, count these three tasks and then enter that count, so it'd be one, two, three, on a custom field on the lead object. And so I've made a field, maybe I need to refresh my page, but I put a field here on the lead object that is called number of tasks, and you can see it right there. And so when we go back to our activity and click view more, we see that there's three tasks. And so now we need to uh, build our flow. So I'm gonna go to setup and we'll just open up the flow builder. There's a couple approaches here. And so um, the requirements uh, weren't, they didn't specify whether we would want to do this like once a day, for example, and that would be a scheduled flow, or if we uh, would do this like when every single time a task is created. So I'm gonna do the version where um, we just do it once a day because um, I think it illustrates the concept, but I can also show at the end of the video if you wanna stay tuned how to do it uh, with a record trigger flow. So at any rate, I will press, press new flow and then we'll start with a scheduled trigger flow. And the assumption here is that we're just gonna count the tasks related to a lead once a day. So I'll press create and we need to set a date. So I'll just pick today's date and then a time um, it's 7.55 where I am, so I'll try to get this done by 8 a.m. And we can just run this once. The object that we're going to pick is the lead object. And we don't have any requirements in terms of which leads we want to run on. Um, presumably, we just want to run it for every lead, count all of the tasks, and then add that number to that custom field. So we have our scheduled flow now. I'm just going to save to get started. I'll just call it uh, scheduled dash count related tasks and press save. And so the first step when we are running this flow is that um, we need to kind of understand what a scheduled triggered flow does. And so a scheduled triggered flow will, will go and get a group of records that meet our entry criteria here in the start element. So if you're familiar with loops or you're familiar with collections, uh, the scheduled triggered flow essentially gets all the leads that you might want to work with and puts them in a collection. And then uh, it will loop through them kind of uh, by itself. And so what we need to do in our scheduled triggered flow is define exactly what criteria should happen for each individual lead that Salesforce finds. And that's what we're going to do. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to go and find every single task. So I'm going to use a get records here. So I'll just say get, and I'll say uh, get tasks and we are looking for an object of the task type and this is kind of an interesting um, point here where we need to understand how our task is related to the lead object there's two main ways to relate a task to a lead object and i'm going to go back to the betty oh it's betty bear i thought it was betty blair <laughs> oh it is betty blair so there's a spelling error there so trailhead can fix that um, but you see that, that we have these three tasks here in the activity log. And so I'm going to open one of them up. And I just want to point out that in order to count these properly, you're going to need to understand how the, the lead itself is related to, or how, excuse me, how the task itself is related to the lead. And in this case, you can see that the name field here is Betty Bear. And so Betty, I'm pretty sure that should be Blair because the email says Blair. So I'm just going to call her Betty Blair. Uh, so Betty Blair is related through the name field. Um, and that's important because that's how we are going to find um, the task. You could also do it by the related to field, which is the what ID, and then the name field is called the who ID. So just being aware of that is really important because if you, if you try to do one without doing the other, your uh, task count will be incorrect. So let's go back to our flow. And I'll just say that uh, the what ID of the uh, task equals, and then I'm going to use um, the global variable for the record of our lead. Sorry. Um, so yeah, I'm going to scroll down. And when you're in a scheduled triggered flow, you get this global variable that's like 
represents the current lead that you're working with. So I'm just going to pick that and I'm going to click ID or type in uh, ID. And what I want to pick here is the lead ID. And so what Salesforce is doing is it's going to go like find every task where the what ID equals the uh, lead ID. And as we saw, our task uh, is not actually related through the what ID. So I would need to add another condition here, and this would be the who ID. And so that's that name field. Um, so the name field uh, has a label of name, but the API on the back end, the API uh, name of the field is who ID. And we'll use that same criteria where the record ID of the lead matches the who ID of the task. And then what I'm going to do is if we look for uh, both of these conditions being true, we might miss some leads. So I'm just going to change this to say or, where either the what ID, uh, the related to field on the task, or the name field, the who ID on the task, equals our uh, lead ID. And then I'm going to get all of the records and press done. And then I'll press save. And so what's happening here is our uh, schedule trigger flow will run, and then um, we'll find all of the tasks. And then I need to quickly count all of these um, tasks. So that's our next step. And so the way we're going to do that is first by creating a number variable in our flow. And this variable will represent the uh, count of tasks. And so what I'm going to do is I'll just mouse over and I'll just click open the little toolbox. And I'm going to press uh, new resource. And for resource type, I'm going to select a variable. And then for the name of this resource, I'll just call it the count. And it's going to represent uh, the total number of tasks that our get records element found. This data type will need to be a number. So I'll pick number from the list. That's the third one there. And we don't need decimals because we can't have um, you know, a fraction of a task. We either have one or zero or two or you know, a whole number. And so once this is set up, I'll press done. And now we have our variable that's going to hold the count of our tasks. And I just want to point out one thing. I don't know if I mentioned it, but in the get records, we need to make sure that we are indeed finding all of the tasks. And the way we do that is by clicking the all records uh, selection here, where we're looking at how many records to store. So as long as that's checked, you're good to go on, on to the next step, uh, which is creating this count variable. And then from there, we can now um, count the number of tasks. And that's way easier to do than it sounds. All we have to do is press the plus icon and click the assignment element. And so we'll say uh, count tasks is what this assignment will be. And now what we're going to do is we're going to set the uh, variable, our count variable. So we're going to say that the count variable, and we can use a unique operator here called the equals count. And so you get this uh, in the assignment element. And we can say equals count. And uh, then we'll pick our record collection variable. So I'll pick that. And the way this reads is that our count will equal the count. And then you could imagine that the word of is kind of like in the middle. So let's say our count equals the count of tasks from get tasks. So uh, what Salesforce will do is just say if there's five tasks that we found, set that equal to the count. And we'll press done. And then the final step is that now that we have our count, we just need to do an update. So I'll update records, and I'm just going to use the lead record uh, that triggered the flow. And so I'll just say update lead. Um, and then we need to find that custom field. Oh, I didn't type in update lead. I just said update. Update, update lead. And now uh, the lead field that we need to update will be down here. And we're looking for, I think it's count of tasks or number of tasks. I forget what I named it. Number of tasks. All right. So we're going to set the number of tasks field equal to the count. And that's it. It's that simple. So let's press done. And we'll press save. And debugging a schedule trigger flow is kind of annoying. Um, so what we're going to do to kind of make it easier is that I am going to go to the Betty Blair lead record. And I'm going to copy the lead ID uh, out of the URL. I'm just going to copy that to my clipboard by pressing Control C. And then in the start condition requirements, rather than collecting uh, all the leads in Salesforce, I'm going to specify a condition that the ID of the lead needs to equal that ID that I just copied. In this way, we can run the scheduled triggered flow for a single record and make sure that it's working. So I'll press save. And then I will press uh, debug. 
and we're just going to run it in rollback mode. But what this will do is uh, run the scheduled triggered flow for the Betty Blair lead record and just show us what the output would be. So on the right, uh, we see that the debug details ran. Um, our interview or our flow kicked off. We went and found all the tasks, and we see here that we successfully found some tasks. Our assignment ran, and the count was set to the value of the get tasks uh, record collection, like how many tasks we found. And we see that number here, it was the number three. And then our update ran, and we can see kind of uh, the first section here, the number of tasks field was set to three. So that's awesome. Um, so everything seems to be working here in the debug details. Every, it was rolled back at the end. So if we edit the flow now, and I'm going to go back and change this by removing this condition. So I'll just run it for all leads again. We'll press save. And then I'm going to change the runtime. It's now 8.06. So if I get this off in time, do 8.07. Press done. Press save. Activate. And then in about a minute, it's going to run. So I want to pause the video and we'll come back in a minute. All right, so it's been a minute. It's now 8.07. And I would expect that our flow has run. So let's go back to the Betty Blair slash Betty Bear record. And I'm going to refresh this lead just to make sure that we have the most updated field values. And I'll just click view more, just make sure our three tasks are still there. And now when I click on the details tab, I should see that the number three is, yeah, right here. Uh, in the number of tasks field. And so we can see that our flow successfully ran and it counted uh, the three tasks. So I hope this was helpful. If you have uh, other questions and you would like me to maybe build a flow for you, feel free to leave a comment below and uh, you know I'd be happy to try to help you out.